What's going on guys? Welcome back to the Dark Souls 3. Is me, it's Linus. What how are you? So we made our way to this tower, and this is like the one place in the whole undead settlement that we haven't checked. We beat the boss. But that did not get us uh, to a new area, so it's gotta be here. There's gotta be some way to get somewhere else. We also rescued this lady that was in that cell. We're not really sure what she does quite yet, but we will uh, find out as soon as we go back to Firelink Shrine. The thing is, we would still have to do a little bit of exploring, so we're gonna go in here. If we can, actually. And yes, we can. So we could have gone here, actually. Or maybe you can only go here after you beat the boss. I'm not really sure. Dude, look at this place. This is pretty cool stuff. Oh. Friendship ahead. The elevator just started moving. It just went up. Oh, dude. This guy's friendly. Hmm. Hmm. Is this the guy? Hmm. Hmm. Oh. Pardon me, I was absorbed in thought. I am Siegbert of Katarina. It is the guy. To be honest, I'm in a bit of a pickle. Have you ever walked near a white birch only to be struck by a great arrow? Well, if I'm not mistaken, they come from this tower. Whoever it is, I'm sure I can talk some sense into them. But I have to find a way up. And that's just the trouble. This uh, is an elevator. This goes down, you see, and... Uh, well, that doesn't get me anywhere. Hmm. Hmm. I get it. Alright, so for those of you that are not in the know, this guy's from, uh... Or maybe it's not the same guy. He's, I think he said his name was Sigward? Let's see your eyes, bro. And in, in Dark Souls 1, there was a character called Siegmeier, but they seem very similar. But maybe it's just because they're, like, wearing the same armor. I don't know. But the guy from the first game is kind of a dingus, and I think this guy's too, because he was talking about the elevator. See, we saw it go up. We know there's like an elevator up there. All right, hold up. I can't look up that far. So I'm pretty sure what he's doing is there's like, okay, so I'm thinking there's two platforms and he keeps using the wrong one. So if I'm correct, we should do this. Let, let's find out if I am correct. I think there's a different platform that we saw going up when this guy arrived. There we go. Ya dingus. This lift only goes down, but you know, with a little warming up, eventually, no, no. Warming up? I've got to use my head and think. Hmm. You know what? I'm just going to do the thinking for you, buddy. <laughs> there we go. So apparently you didn't even notice that I used the elevator. Uh, the way it should be used. Alright, we got a lever here, so we should be... Item ahead. Oh, hello. Alright, I actually would have missed this one, so this is a really good message. Thank you, buddy. I'm seeing a bunch of blood stains here. Look at this dude. Friend ahead. I can't lock on to him. I guess that could be good. Yeah, look at that. Okay. Who are you? Make peace. Really? I help any time. Young White Branch. I help any time. That's all he says? I help any time. <laughs> yes, it is. What is going on here? So this guy's friendly, apparently. I didn't know that. And over there, we can actually see the tree that he was shooting us at. I think that's the one. So he's friendly now. What's going on with this? We have... Alright, we have two of these branches, but for some reason they're in different, like, stacks. I don't know what's up with that, but okay. So are you gonna stop shooting me now? That'd be cool. 
Dude, look at his bow. That is not just a great bow. That's a great bow for giants right there. Alright, so there's nothing else here. Huh. Alright, well, okay. Thank you, message. I'm gonna rate this one up as well. I would have assumed that that guy was gonna be nuts. Just try to kill us or something. So what else are we supposed to do then? Mm. Ooh, platform. And I heard the guy going, hmm, again. See here? Oh, he is. Hmm. Hmm. Ah. Oh. Don't disappear like that. You're what? downright worried. But thanks to you, an epiphany has struck me square in the head. I've unraveled the riddle of this inscrutable lift. <laughs> Have you now? On some days, I begin to doubt myself. I went up the tower, so I thought, then somehow ended up here. I'm not exactly sure what happened. Anyhow, do you see that? That humongous beast? I'm no coward and I have a steady hand, but that thing makes my skin crawl. How now? Think twice before you go down that road. I could try talking some sense into him. Yeah, I don't think that would work. No, I think not. He's far too overheated. I've got to use my head and think. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, so I'm not sure what to make of this. Yeah, alright, let's not go over there. I mean, that thing looks awfully scary. It looks like a... <clears throat> like the, um... The Taurus Demon from, uh, Dark Souls 1. Use your he head and think, but I'm not... Oh, boy. I think we might be stuck here. We're stuck. Okay, so we have to go this way then. It's either that or we kill ourselves. I could try. Alright, maybe we can sneak by him or something. I don't know what to do. We have no other choice but to go over there. Dude, look at that thing. That thing is nuts. Ooh, item. I really, really don't want to fight him. Homer Boney. Alright, any other items around here? No. What? You he saw me from all the way over there? No, 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 no. It's too late now. Oh god. Oh my Jesus. I, word of the Knights of Katarina, fight by your side. Oh, he's helping me? That would be. You just did three damage, man. Oh, we can okay. I can't even see myself right now, man. Holy dick. You're not doing a lot of damage. I'm doing I do more damage than he does. Look at that. That's right. Focus on focus on the onion guy. Okay, or don't. That's you know, either way. I mean, I'm not going to tell you what to do. I mean, look at you. You big freak. All right, so our miracle is slightly better. Oh god, please don't kill him though. I want to feel very bad if he dies. Look at that. Oh, what is he doing? Oh, Jesus. Twenty damage. What is wrong with this guy? All right, that's better. We got him. We actually just killed this thing. Fire gem. Oh no way. All right. All right, hold, bu hold up, buddy. We'll talk. A gem of infused titanite found in rare cases inside demons. Used in infusion to create fire weapons. Fire weapons inflict fire damage but lose scaling effects. All right, so we might want to use this, actually. Dude, thank you for the help. That was quite a performance. 
but you mustn't get in over your head. We unkindled must put our duties first. But for the moment, we've a toast to make. Ooh, Siegbrow. To your valor, my sword, and our victory together. <laughs> oh, I just missed what he said. Toast. It's a little gesture right there. Let's use it, see if he'll like me better. Yeah. Well, I'm going to have myself a little nap. The only thing to do, really, after a nice toast. <laughs> What? He just fell asleep instantly. All right. Well, good night, buddy. Restores HP and boosts frost resist. A special brew of Secret of Katarina. Perfect for travel in this jolly barrel mug. Restores HP and temporarily boosts frost resistance. Leave it to Secret to discover a drink that even an undead can enjoy. Perhaps his long years spent undead have left him wanting to drain a cup or two and revel as if he were still among the living. Alright, cool. I mean, we have our other healing stuff, but this is still pretty cool. Oh, I'm so sorry, buddy. Alright, that's not an enemy. Thank, thank God. I don't want to fight like half tree people. All right, just want to make sure that we try to, like, find everything that we can really find. And I think we've done so, so far. Like, I feel pretty, pretty uh, positive about <clears throat> all the things that we found. Actually, there might still be some stuff next to the tree, the white tree that we were getting shot at earlier. But, um, we can always pick that up later. All right, that's an item right here. Boom. There. What? What? Hey. What the heck? What is it? Are you kidding me? It's this thing. It's got like an invisible thing. You've got to shoot it from an angle. That's dumb. Like that is legit dumb. All right. So what do we get? Pill tongue. All right, hold on one moment. Northern armor. This is sweet. All right, pill tongue. Proof of a red orb invader's victory over a host of embers. Claiming tongues as trophies was originally the practice of an infamous troop of invaders who offered them to their speechless goddess. So you can get these by just invading people, I guess. Which we probably won't be doing that much. Iron armor of a stalwart northern warrior, supported by interwoven chainmail. Iron defensive wear grants superior absorption. Being from the north, it should also offer resistance to the cold. And it... It does. It does do a really good job of that. And it looks cool. Alright, so I think I want to wear the helmet because that looks cool. I'm going to keep the herald armor though because that's just too cool. In addition to their protection from blunt strikes, they excel at retaining heat, providing good resistance to the cold. This is pretty good stuff. Alright, let's see if the armor says something else. Or the helmet actually. Hold up. Engraved with an ornate pattern. All right. See, this looks pretty cool. We got a cool little mix of armor now. Uh, it may not fit entirely with the armor that we're wearing, the herald armor, but it looks cool. I'm fine with this. All right, let's see. So we came from up there. Let's see, we check this. We check that. Is there anything else over here? Oh. I see an item. I don't trust this at all. Oh, that thing is alive. You can tell by the color. Wait, no? 
The color on this thing looks a bit weird, but it's not. I can't lock onto it. All right, hold up. Almost there. You know what? Whatever. All right, <laughs> maybe I was wrong. I don't know. Uh, red bug pellet temporarily boosts fire damage absorption. Medicinal pellet made from crushed insects. The red type temporarily boosts fire damage absorption. Prepared in the Cathedral of the Deep by evangelists will dole them out to followers to ease their suffering when they burn. That sounds ominous. All right. And then we also found this. Oh, we already read this. All right. I'm going to try to just read everything. I, I think it's pretty interesting and a lot of you guys seem to think it's interesting as well. So I'm going to try to keep that up. But if I ever miss anything, just, you know, let me know and I'll try to take care of it. I don't trust this at all. We haven't seen a single enemy in here. Oh. Well, there's an enemy over there. I think I feel like this one's alive, though. Nope, it's not. Ah, these are alive. Look how different the colors are on these. Oops. All right, let me just get my fire bombs out. Never try to trick me. I have eyes. I feel like this might be more difficult to tell on like consoles or something. Stuff with a lower resolution. What's up with this little balcony area? Oh, there's an item over there that we missed. We gotta make sure to pick that up as well. I sense danger. And I was right. Get out of here, you jerks. Uh, that's a dog. What's up, doggy? I don't think so. It's a nice try, I guess. Alright, next. Let's do this, buddy. That's what you get. Alright, so far so good. Be wary of trap. Oh, these things are alive. Yep, they are. Oh god, that's a lot of them though. That's what you get. The heck out of here. These fire bombs are a lifesaver. I never really use these, I think, in Souls games, but... Fading Souls. More Fading Souls. Yeah, so I never really use them that much in Souls games, but this time around, like, they're... They're just great. Alright, Fading Soul. Smattering of Souls. We have found these before, but I've never found ten in one place. That's pretty crazy. Oh, it's one of you. It's two of you guys? No. Die. Die. <laughs> Die. I'm just going to keep throwing these. I don't care. They're pretty cheap, right? Actually, I'm not really sure how cheap they are, but this is way too easy not to do it. I keep hitting both of them. This is awesome. That's what you get. What's up? Yeah, he didn't even hit me. Get the hell out of here. Oh. Evangelist robe. No way. Show me that. Robe of an evangelist sent from the cathedral. These teachers, all women. Can okay, we already read this. Actually, we have the pants. Oh, no. I look ridiculous. I can't wear that. But at least we have it. Let's see. Does it provide any, like, good resistances? It's got some... Oh, uh, the poise is actually not that great. Pretty good fire resistance. Lightning as well. Curse resistance as well. Alright, not bad. Well, that's good enough. And we got it for free anyway, so I'm not complaining. Alright, just tell me that there's no more enemies. Like, I just want to go back to Firelink. I want to use my souls... And I want to check out what that lady does that we got earlier. I'm really hoping miracles because that would be amazing. Item. Flynn's ring. Lowering equip load increases attack. 
Ring of Flynn, the eulogized thief. Lowering equip load increases attack power. Flynn fought with the wind on his side and was a hero among the weak and poor, yet even his admirers knew that it was little more than an idyllic fable. So it doesn't really do anything here. Oh, all right. So when I take off my armor, I get slightly higher tech power, but I, I'm guessing it's probably only really good when you start running around with like the lightest armor or no armor and just a weapon. But at least we have it. I mean, if I wear it now, it doesn't do anything, so I won't equip it. Ring ahead. What are you talking about? We already found this ring. Oh, wait. You can roll over there. Dude, no way. All right. We got to make sure that this is true. So we killed the enemies in this building. Let me just make sure we get this item down here uh, before we try this very dangerous roll. I'm just a little bit uh, confused because I was expecting to find a whole new area and this seems to be more of the undead settlement. And I was definitely thinking that there was going to be something else, but... There isn't, so maybe... I don't know. Like, there's no doors here or anything. There's no way to get to some other area that we haven't yet seen. Where are you? Large club. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Large wooden club requires considerable strength to wield. Characterized by savage leaping attacks, its weight makes it easier to break the guard of shields. And you can boost your attack with it temporarily. Alright, that's pretty cool. Uh, we don't have nearly enough strength to use this, but it is real strong. Look at that. Also, the Halbert's pretty good. That Halbert's actually really good because it hasn't even been upgraded. We might want to switch to that later. I'm not really sure. Well, we need the skills to upgrade this thing, but we only have one. Or we had one. We don't even have one anymore. See, there's nothing else here. I don't... I'm a little bit confused, but I'm sure that, you know, we'll figure it out. You gotta have faith, is what George Michael always says. Alright, let's go to this, see if there's actually a ring over there. I'm, I really have my doubts. That message has zero uh, ratings. I'm not sure I trust it, but it looks like I could actually get to this area where I normally wouldn't even have looked twice. Honestly, I really appreciate messages in games like this. Or just, you know, in, in the Souls games, really. They can be so awesome. Alright, ring. So we can get up here. And then we can actually get over here. So we, he might not be lying. Thing is, I'm not going back to uh, raid it. Hello. Homeward Bone. Alright, look at that. So what else? Like, where does this lead? Oh, God. What? Ah, so there really is a ring in there, then. Alright, let me just make sure that we're fully healed if we're gonna do this. I think if we fall down all the way, we probably die. So we gotta make the jump over to that ledge. Let me just see. If I can get this right. Oh, please don't die. Oh, we're good. We are good. Oh, sorry about that. Seems familiar. Mirror vest, gloves, and trousers. No way. Garb worn by mirror knights sent on, a, on journeys. This hard leather vest is bestowed only upon proven knights. Knights travel afar to fulfill their sacred duties, but few are ever able to deliver on their vows. And it's actually pretty good too. It's got some pretty good resistances. I love the mirror gear. I wore this in Dark Souls 2 all the time. All right, I'm just going to stick with the northern gloves here. But the trousers might actually be... At least they look better. I'm just going to go with what looks better. Chlorenthi ring. So there was a ring. Raises stamina recovery speed. This old ring is named for its decorative green blossom. But its luster is long since faded. Raises stamina recovery speed. This is an awesome ring. 
Dude, I can't believe that message actually pointed me to this ring. Damn. Now I wish I could actually go back and thank whoever wrote this, but... Well, I mean, I could, but that would take me time. You know, I don't have time. Dude, that was just like a treasure trove of good stuff in there. Awesome. All right. Okay. All right, what's up, buddy? I hear a dog. I hear a dog. Don't bite me. Don't do it. Bad dog. There you go. That's what you get. Why is there a guy running over there? What was that all about? 